What's going on guys? Alex here with 814 ADC and today I got a very quick unboxing to do for you guys. This package is coming in from JD for EDC um, and this is a lefty pass around knife or package with two new or newer Kaiser knives. I think they came out in August I want to say that was um, August release uh, either July or August I forget um, but JD for EDC will be linked down below in the description. Please go check him out. He is a fellow um you know, he's in the group chat we're in um really good guy chat with him a few times um just you know in the midst of other conversations and he seems like a really good dude um so definitely go check him out unboxing knife today is the giant mouse ace iona v2 um i tossed this in my in pocket uh, after i got home from work um my card on monday i'm filming this on monday um and this is a good knife. I haven't been carrying it as much as the Rio because um, I just really, really, really love the Rio. Definitely my most favorite Giant Mouse product that they've come out with, um, I think, ever so far. Um, I'd like to get one of those in the collection at some point down the road um, if I can. But the Iona V2 is is really good. You know, it's not the fidgety knife. And, you know, it's, it's a slow roll type of knife, but... It's great ergos, great steel, great shape. I really like the overall changes that they made from the original um, Iona to the Iona V2. So if you guys are interested in this knife, um, the full review might be coming later this week. Um, I think I've had this and the Rio in for quite a while compared to some of the other knives I have in. Um, so if you're on the lookout for that, definitely keep an eye out on the upcoming days on the channel. But we're gonna get into this unboxing. Cut here and cut here. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Mine was very busy, but now we're getting back into the work week. Um, but I got some new knives, and I should have a full uh, a full week worth of videos. And I'm gonna try to start doing shorts again. Um, I have not done a short in probably three or four months. I want to say. Um, and I just want to be consistent. Like I want to, especially this week with having a lot of, um, reviews, like I, sh I have a quite a bit of loaners, uh, lined up and I have, you know, should be able to do a video, a night or a day for you guys. And excuse me, I would like to do a short too, you know, a video. I usually post them at five o'clock and then maybe do a short later in the, you know, seven, eight o'clock just to, you know, get some, get some more traction, get some more views for the channel. Um, I'm probably just going to do, you know, my daily carry or whatever I'm carrying that night. Uh, I'm kind of going a theme of like, you know, my card on Monday, titanium Tuesday, uh, morning, Wednesday, thumb stud Thursday. I typically just do a Friday carry, um, stuff like that. Just, you know, just to showcase more stuff on the channel and to, uh, you know, again, get more views, more traction for the channel and it definitely cannot hurt. So if you guys are, you know, Leave a, leave a comment down below if you guys are excited for more shorts or, you know, what what are your opinions on it? I would love to hear what you guys have to say. But getting back to the two Kaiser knives, here we have the Kaiser Brat and here we have the Kaiser, uh, oh, not the sheep, sheepdog knives? I'm having a brain fart. The sheep, yeah, the sheepdog, I think. I, I'm not having a brain fart right now. It's the new one with the um, purple aluminum and the clutch lock. And then the Brat is the new... Um, button lock integral i think um and again this is a lefty pass around package uh so yeah this is the kaiser brat designed by azo um 3.49 inch blade um 154 cm blade black g10 and a button lock but like i said i believe these are um this is a an integral which is really really cool especially for the price point i think it comes in at like 90 bucks um but again you know you guys know i'll talk about more about that in the uh, full review but Kaiser sticker, you get your typical stickers and extra hardware and a pamphlet and with um, the microfiber in it. And here comes standard with every Kaiser. Get that put away. Sorry if it seems like I'm a little bit of a rush. Um, my fiance and I are going to the uh, Pittsburgh Power Game later with our, or my sister-in-law and brother-in-law, her sister and brother-in-law. Um, so I'm trying to get this done because I got to jump in the shower and so on and so forth. Not that you guys care, but if I can get this damn box to go back together, that would be awesome. There we go. All right. So here is the Brat. 
You guys can see button lock with a very nice big old pyramid style flipper tab. It is indeed a G10 Integral, which is really cool. Has a loop rubber style deep carry pot clip from Kaiser that is only righty carry, not lefty. Um, I like the style of that. I like it's kind of a fatter clip. Flies right out of there. Beautiful, kind of a eh, drop point with a little bit of a spear point to it. There is a Kaiser logo on 154CM. It's a stone wash, but it kind of has a hot, eh, is that a stone wash? I think it's a stone wash, but it kind of, I don't know, it kind of looks like a satin. But then again, right when you kind of get it off the right light, it looks like a stone wash. So we'll say like a high polish stone wash. Um, it's black in there, so I can't see. So there's no internal milling. Ergos are nice. I really like the jimping up here, how it extends. Um, ergos are fantastic. I mean, it's a pretty plain Jane, very utilitarian style knife. So I was expecting the ergos to be really good. You can choke up here. Um, again, a four and a half inch blade. Nice and drop shut. A little bit of blade play, but not bad. A little bit of button stick. If you can hear that or not. A little bit of button stick, but not bad. Very, very snappy detent. Um, ooh, you, even when I try to um, fail it, it still flies right out of there. Has some nice acoustics to it too, which for G10, G10 normally dulls sounds. Um, yeah, this is very fidget friendly, very fun to play with. Um, yeah, I, I was not really expecting too much from this knife, but then I did see Kevin was kind of raving about it. He said he really, really liked it. And again, for 90 bucks, I know it's G10, but to have an integral knife with a button lock, 154 CM, seems like a good value. Um, so I can't wait to get this in pocket. Um, this has been one I've probably, probably been excited for for a couple weeks, um, really ever since I signed up for the um, pass around. But yeah, this is really, really dope. So Kaiser Brat. And then again, we have the, I'm just, I'm, I don't know, I'm having a brain fart, but it is the Sheepdog. Um, might be the mini Sheepdog because it's a 3.4, or sorry, 3.14 inch blade. Um, the designer is Sheepdog knives. I don't know why I'm having a brain fart, so you have to excuse me on that. Um, 154cm blade with a black stone wash. Um, like I said earlier, aluminum, purple, purple aluminum um, scales. And this has the clutch lock which is the first of its kind for um, this line of knives. So again, pamphlets, stickers, all that stuff. And I've never actually handled a um, sheepdog before. Now there are so many different variations of it. It's one of Kaiser's probably more popular knives. Um, there's the mini, there's the XL, there's ones with um, micarta and fat carbon and all kinds of different variations. Um, cause like I said, I think it's one of their better selling models and I really, really right off the bat, love that purple. It's kind of a deep purple, very nice to look at. I love the matching thumb stud loop over style, deep carry pot clip that is different than what Kaiser does on a lot of other knives. It's kind of, you know, um, goes with the sheepdog series. It always has this sort of real fat, um, and flat pocket clip. It is lefty and righty carry. Um, you do have a tab over here. No filler plate or anything like that, which would have been nice at the price point to toss in there, but uh, it's nice you have the option to carry it lefty or righty. Fires right out of there. Beautiful um, Warncliffe or Sheep's Foot. I can I kind of go either way. Style blade, kind of a cleaver, honestly. Nice and thin behind the edge. 154 CM and Kaiser logo. There is the Sheepdog logo and the model number C0, or sorry, C, yeah, C01C, clutch lock. No blade play at all. And that is, I mean, similar to all the other clutch lock models that I've handled before. Very, very smooth, very fun to fidget with. And it's cool because you have the thumb stud and the hole, which for me personally, I think I prefer the hole to middle finger flick because it's just easier to, you know, it's a little bit more natural. You don't have to, my nose is so itchy tonight. Um, you don't have to kind of search for that thumb stud, but for the thumb flick, 
the thumb flick feels better with the stud versus finding the hole and kind of flicking out of it, if that makes any sense. Um, flies right out of there. Ergos are fantastic. I can get all four fingers on here. Um, definitely a unique style of knife. And like I said, I think this is the first rendition of this knife or first variation of the Sheepdog that I've ever handled. Um, I almost bought one before. I think they had um, 10 V uh, minis on Blade HQ that I've looked at numerous times. Um, I just never got around to pulling the trigger on them, but this is cool. I really like the addition of the clutch lock because I think the clutch lock is a really good locking system for Kaiser. I think they execute it very, very well. You know, of course, with having the different spring tension um, points and stuff like that. Uh, dead centered, pretty thin knife overall. Um, but yeah, this is really cool too. So I can't wait to get both the Sheepdog and the Brat in pocket. These are both very, very cool knives. Um, I've been excited for this package for quite a while. I'll try to get them so I can get a... I don't know if that's... Yeah, that'll be, that's a good thumbnail. Some beautiful knives from Kaiser. Kaiser just stays killing it. I don't have a ton of Kaiser knives in the collection, and that's just because I get to check out a lot of them, so I don't like feel the need to buy a lot to review. Um, but every once in a while, I get one across my table that I just really like, and um, you know, I could see both of these kind of getting to that point after I get done carrying them. I'm like, man, I'm gonna miss these knives. Um, they're both cool in their own way. Of course, the brow with the button lock, integral. This with the purple G or G10, purple aluminum clutch lock. Really wicked looking blade. Um, so yeah, but that was my full unboxing. Full unboxing. That was my unboxing of the Kaiser Knives Sheepdog and the Kaiser Knives Brat. Again, huge shout out to Lefty EDC for sending these over uh, or putting them in the Lefty Pass Around group. Kev, if you are watching this. You are the man. I always appreciate you, brother. And um, I actually have a new um, affiliate code over at DNK Knives. Don um, reached out to me and said that he came out with a 10% um, off code. Use 814EDC. You'll get that off. Save some money over there. Um, so that'll be now in the description down below if you guys are interested in all my videos. I almost forgot to uh, to mention it because I have not filmed, I think, since Dawn messaged that to me. It's been about a week or so, but it's going to be back. It's going to have a, we're going to have a good, nice full week of videos and some shorts. We're going to gain some subs. We're going to have a good week. I, I, the giveaway is coming guys. That's another thing I want to touch on real quick. The giveaway is coming. I just need to finalize it, get it filmed and get it uploaded for you guys. I know some of you are probably waiting on it, but it is coming. I promise. Um, uh, maybe end of this week, weekend, that'll be a, a good weekend video. Uh, but I'm going to quit rambling and rambling, rambling and raving and ranting and stumbling over my words. Um, Thank you guys again so much for watching. I greatly appreciate each and every single one of you guys. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your morning, day, evening, whenever you're watching this, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.